With so many brands oversimplifying their logos these days, why don't we do the opposite and overcomplicate them? I did get this idea from Lucas Arbel on YouTube, so definitely go check them out and here we go. Okay, up first I have the Pringles logo. For this one, I created this 3D shape in Illustrator and then I found a bunch of assets online to give him realistic facial hair and eyes. Lastly, I found a real bow tie for the text to sit on and I love the final result. Next, I did Apple, which I created using real photos of apples. I photoshopped in this realistic bite mark and here's that one all complete. For Pizza Hut, all I really had to do was find an old photo of one of the restaurants and cut the roof off and replace the Red Hut in the logo. And finally for McDonald's, I decided to edit this photo of the St. Louis Arch to replicate the golden arches. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. I'm gonna use AI to make logos look realistic. Okay, let's start with Starbucks. Um, I think I'll type in realistic mermaid with two tails, long flowing hair, wearing a crown. Let's see what we get. Okay, this is the only one with like actually two tails. Let's try that one more time. Okay, we've got one with two arms, <laughs> but not two tails. All right, let's move on. What if I just do make the Twitter bird realistic? Okay, these are some good ones. I wanna to try to recreate the shell logo, so maybe I'll type in realistic render of a yellow and red seashell. These are all really, really good. Okay, these look really realistic. Let's try the Android logo. Oh, those are kinda of creepy. What if I do the NBC rainbow peacock? Okay, these are actually really good. Last, let's do the Apple logo. Let's do a realistic rendering of an apple in the style of the Apple logo. There we go. All right, I think this did a really good job of making the logos look realistic. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. filter lands on, we're gonna overcomplicate it using Photoshop. Okay, what are we gonna get? Tostitos, okay, let's go. Okay, this one's gonna be a fun one because the Tostitos logo, actually the T's are two little dudes holding a chip between them. I'm gonna use Photoshop's generative AI tool. So I typed in guy standing in a T pose and let's see what it generates. Okay, it gave us two options. The face and the hands aren't the best. Actually, I was able to fix it pretty well. Erase the actual T's and replace them with our little guys. <laughs> I'm also gonna replace the chip with a real chip and the bowl of salsa with a real bowl. I feel like this pattern back here is almost trying to mimic one of these blankets. I found this knit texture and I'm gonna mask it out and then I'm just gonna use some tools to make it look like an overlay. I'm gonna add on some fringe like those blankets have. And here is the final result. I think this one came out so cool. This might be one of my favorite overcomplicated logos I've ever done. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,